Good afternoon, everyone. Late April snow in Venezuela, Pico Bolivar. I'm going to tell you where it's going to snow again this year. Wherever these red dots are that you see over the mountain range indicate glacial advance, 20% more rainfall during the mini ice age, glacial retreat, just part of the ebb and flow of our earth. Gulf of Curacao out in the green dot both sea surface temperatures and rainfall were down over the island areas north of South America. We're going to see more of a repeat of this. South America generally cooler throughout the little ice age. NOAA added again manipulating data. Raw versus adjusted. topographic map here so you can see the Andes mountain range in South America. We're going to focus in on Pico Bolivar. It's in western Venezuela receiving unusual snowfall in late April. I'm coming back to this story here because it's such a rare event and it's signaling that this area of South America is going to cool again during this new grand solar minimum. Look back at South American temperature reconstruction usually cooler during the grand solar minimums that have been registered in the last 800 years. Now where you see the two red dots in the exact same mountainous area, there was more moisture and also glacial advance during that time. Temperatures were anywhere from two to three degrees Celsius cooler, and there was 20% more rainfall in that exact same area. Stunningly beautiful country here, the Andes of Venezuela. So mountainous, in fact, there's a series of stamps since the 1960s about this area. Lake sediment cores in the Venezuelan Andes also show the exact same thing of higher rainfall and temperature declines during the Little Ice Age, as well as the previous solar minimums and glacial retreat ebbing and flowing on this very cycle as well. On the left, the Pico Bolivar. A couple of those glaciers have disappeared, but they didn't actually start disappearing until around 1910. So it doesn't follow the AGW model. Little Ice Age, considerably more humid and wetter during that time as well. Greater look at the entire country here, plus the coastal area. We're going to jump over into the Gulf of Curacao. The dot that's highlighted in green, drier during the Little Ice Age. So you can expect it to get drier again there. But sea surface temperatures were down in that exact same time, but the rainfall was decreased. Overlay here of both data sets so you can see what's going on. This is pulled out of a larger chart here that includes Peru, Chile, and Venezuela. You can see in the Little Ice Age as well, Peru also cooler and wetter. Southern Hemisphere, Peru, medieval temperatures far warmer than today, and you'll see a plummet both the Dalton and the modern minimums there. And if we jump off of Chile on the coast, you'll notice it's also wetter down there. That's why they're getting these gargantuan snows through the mountains. It's repeating a pattern. South America is going to be cooling and getting wetter. NOAA back up to its old tricks again, manipulating data. Raw temperature versus adjusted. Love how it diverges there. Several areas across Paraguay also, the raw data versus the adjusted data just doesn't really seem to match up. They're trying to mask the cooling down there. My call, unusual snows in Venezuela this year in that same mountain range, Pico Bolivar, that can be unexplained, as well as gargantuan snows across the border of Chile and Argentina. These two, when you see it, it's a direct correlation because we're heading back in to another grand solar minimum. Thanks for watching, hope you got something out of the video. These effects are only going to intensify from this point forward.